loves you welcome to the youtube channel my name is Whitney Highway, and in this tutorial video we'll be making a butterfly runched skirt if you want to know how i made this butterfly runched skirt keep watching or if you want to know how to make one keep watching and also if you want to know tips on how to make an adjustable butterfly runched skirt like you can make it long or short adjusted then keep watching and don't forget to like share and hit the subscribe uh, button and as you can see this butterfly run skirt is given so so guys these are the things we need in making the butterfly run skirts we need the fabric any fabric of your choice so i'll be using this particular fabric then you need the elastic especially if you're going for the non adjustable butterfly run skirt you need your paper stay or your gum stay or your air stay whichever is available this is optional though yeah if you want a firm waistband on your butterfly run skirt then you need this but if you do not mind whether your waistband is firm or not then you can just so you forget about it um we'll be drafting directly on the fabric um we do not need a pattern paper for this we're we'll drafting directly on the fabric here yeah. So as you can see, my fabric is folded. So we'll be drafting on the front side of the fabric. You know, normally you draft on the back side of the fabric, right? But for making a butterfly runched skirt, you have to draft on the front side of the fabric because you'll be sewing on the front side of the fabric. So yeah, we'll be drafting on the front side of the fabric. Another thing to take note of when making a butterfly runched skirt is after taking your actual skirt length measurements, you had 20 inches to it. Um, let's say you want your skirt to be at the length of, let's say, 30 inches. You had 20 inches to that 30 inches. So making it 50 inches, right? So meaning on the fabric, you'll be cutting out 50 inches. If you also want a shorter skirt, and let's say the measurement is 19 inches where you want your skirt to be or 10 inches yeah you also add 20 inches to it so that makes it um 30 inches right yeah so the need for these old 20 inches that you're adding to the length is to achieve that raunchiness in the butterfly skirt so that's just the reason why then another thing is um in taking when you're taking out your measurement that's your waist your hip you'll be adding seven inches um it all depends on how flabby you want the butterfly to be that's the flabbiness at the side if you do not want it that big you could add um just add five inches make it five inches but it's going to be very small yeah but if you want it very big very flabby to fall and all of that just had eight inches maximum or you could reduce it to seven inches so for me i'll be using seven inches for for mine i'll be using seven inches yeah so that's what i'll be um using for mine so if you do not want it that big that's a uh -huh, flabby large flabbiness at the sides just use six or five inches but five inches should be the lowest if you go lower than that it's going to look very very small yes the flabbiness is going to look very very small so i'm going to go out and go in and mark out my waist measurement so which is um eight point um seven five then i'll have seven inches allowance here so i'll just keep um so yeah so i've marked it out now from the waist to your hip is nine inches so i'm going to mark out the nine inches i'm going to rule it out here so from your waist to your hip is nine inches so i'm going to rule that out yeah so on this line i'm going to mark it, mark out my hip measurement so the hip is actually 14 inches divided by four gives you 10. so i'm going to mark out the 10 here and then I'm going to add the 7 inches allowance. So all through, I'm adding the 7 inches allowance. If you're using 5, meaning all through, you're adding your 5 inches allowance. So I'm going to take uh, mark out the total length. So the length, the actual length where I want this skirt to be is at 35 inches. So I'll be adding 20 inches to it. Yeah. So making it 55 inches. So 
meaning I'm going to mark out 55 inches on the skirts. So that's the um, um, total length for for this. So I'm going to add 55. I'm going to mark 55 inches out here. I hope you can be able to see the marks of the um, chalk. I had to use white so you can see it very well, clearly. So another thing to note is if you do not want to put a slit at the back of your skirt, of your butterfly skirt, mark out exactly the same inches you have on your hip measurement. So let's say your hip is 10, right? So you mark out exactly 10 on the um, total length side on the down part, then you had your seven inches. But if you're going to add a slit at the back of your a butterfly run skirt, then you can reduce your hip uh, measurements to nine or ten and mark out ten at that down part. I don't know if I'm making sense. Like you can reduce that measurement, um, that ten on the down part to nine or eight. So I'm going to connect this right away. So the reason for uh, marking out exactly the 10 on your hip side uh, and to, uh, marking out the 10 on your hip side on that down part is so that you can have easy movement, free movement. But if you're adding a slit, you can actually reduce it to achieve a more pencil shape. So I'm just going to connect here. Then you add your 7 inches, right? So I'm going to connect like so. So I'm just going to connect... Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and um, trim the side off after which I turn it over to mark this to take out this measurement on the other side as well. So I just want it to be easier for me. So I'm just going to trim off this part that I don't need again. I'm just going to trim it off. So I would write out the measurements, maybe at the beginning of this video. Yeah, you would see the measurements you need for this. You see the measurements you need for this. So that's just it. So I'm just going to keep cutting through yeah just going to cut it So I'm done cutting it now. Yeah, I'm done. So as you can see, I'm going to turn it over and mark out this exact measurement. There is mark out the 8.5, 8.75 I have on my waist, 10 inches I have on my hip on the other side. But before turning over, let me just um, connect this actual measurement together because this line I'm marking, yeah, I'm marking out is the line I'm going to sew on. So to make it easier, you just have to mark it out so it will be easier for you to just sew on the line. Yeah, without taking any measurements again. So I'm just going to outline the the line, connect the um, lines together. So you can use office pin to hold it. Yes, hold that um, the line so that um, you can know the actual place you so on. So whichever, if you're marking it out, you mark it out. If you want to use your office pin, you can use your office pin. So I've turned it over now. The next thing, I just need to arrange. So imagine you use your office pin. You don't need to readjust and adjust and all of that. So I'm going to mark out the waist measurement now. So yeah. So this is um, 8.75. You know, I turned it over. So the center part is now facing you guys. 
So I'm just going to mark out my um, waist um, measurements. So 8.75, I'm going to mark that out now. So there's no need of adding 7 inches again because you have already done that at the other side, on the other side rather. So it's the same 7 inches that will be on this right side too. So that's just it. Then I'm going to mark out the E as well. So it's just like taking the exact measurement on the right side, taking it on the left side. You get, because when you open it, you're sewing on the both sides. I don't know if I'm making sense, but you will get to understand. So I'm just going to mark it out and connect. So make sure it's the same thing that is also at the um, left side. That's the same. The words on the right side should be words on the left side. So I'm just going to connect here. So I'm going to connect. So I'm just going to mark it out. I will get to use office paint to hold this down. Yeah. So this is just it. So I'm done. So now it's time to cut out the back. So for the back, you can see I've already folded it for the back. I've already folded um, a piece for the back. And then left one inch space here. As you can see, one inch here for zip allowance. So you can see me marking through. I left one inch for zip allowance. So I'm just going to cut. Cut. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to trim off what I'm not using. Yeah. Just going to trim it out. So you can see it's easy drafting out the back of the... All you just need to do is to add your zip allowance. So for me, I used one inch as I earlier stated. So you can use 1.5 inches, but one inch is okay because you don't want it that big or you can use 1.5, whichever. So that's just it. Then you cut, cut it out exactly what you have on the front. You cut it out. So that's just it, guys. That's just it. So on this um, waist side, I'm going to come down with one inch here. Here you see, I'm going to come down, come down with one inch. Then I'm going to um, cut to the point I came down with one inch. This. So as you can see, the way I created a notch there is slit, a small slit on that waist side. Then on this zip side, I'm going to notch it so I know where my zip um zipper um allowance started from on the back side of the um sorry, on the back yes now. On the back pattern, yeah. So I'm going to open it up now. The back pattern, back um side of the butterfly rosket. I'm going to open it up now. Open up the zip allowance here. Yeah. I'm going to separate it. So guys, this is it. So let me open it up. Let me remove the office pin and then open it up for you to see. So I'm going to use office pin to secure this um zip zip um zipper allowance um um zipper allowance side. I'm going to use office pin to secure it. Then when I get to my machine, I would sew it, but I'm not going to sew it to the top because I'm adding zip. So I'll just sew it to where um the zip is going to um stop. Then I'm leaving a slit at the back. So I left at about um 
12 inches for the slits so you can leave at about 18 inches depending on how high but it should not be more than 18 or 17 inches so you can see the slit i don't know if you can see it the slit i opened at the side so i'm going to sew from this point i'm going to hem from let me show you guys so from this point i slit i'm going to hem it like so to this other side and i'm going to do the same thing for the front part as well so i'm going to aim then once i aim i'll show you guys then this is it guys as you can see i have aimed here 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 you see i aimed there as well that's for the slit side so and i also aimed it round to this place as you can see to that place the slit stopped then as you can see i sewed up this place and left it stopped at this place then i used office pin to hold there for now temporarily that's where i'm going to put the zip so this is the front as well i have also aimed it round i have also aimed it round yeah so from the place i cut that um i had um, put that slit on that waist from that waist side that i added when um, came down with one inch i would have to aim it round yeah but i'll leave the waist section so i'm going to sew on this line so i'm just going to use my office pin to secure it now please just watch the way i am doing it it's not difficult though yeah so i'm just going to use my office pin to secure it because the fabric is slippery and i don't want to adjust and readjust while sewing it i just want to go to my machine and just sew it with his so i'm just going to use office pin to secure it office pin would help me do that so i'm going to um sew on this line that i marked out so you can see the essence of um marking out the line the why i was marking out the actual measurement so this was it and this is the reason why i marked it on the left and the right side i hope you grab so this is it guys so i'm going to do the same for this other side as well use my office pin to secure it hold it tight so i'm going to use my office pin to hold both sides tight mm. so i've done that guys so i'm going to once i'm done sewing i'll show you guys i'm going to sew like so so guys i have sewn on both side as you can see now the next thing will be you're going to take your tape and measure so i'm using a very tiny waist a tiny tape sorry and the measurement the width is like not up to half, half an inch so on this side i'm going to mark out half an inch from the point i sewed from that line that i saw um that i'm <laughs> what am i saying from that line that i um did my sewing on on both sides i'm going to mark half an inch on both sides you get so you can actually mark um uh, more than half an inch let me say a few inches from half an inch or hard like one one small inch to it you get but it should not be up to one inch except you are using a wide elastic but it's advisable you use a tiny elastic so i'm just going to mark half an inch the reason for marking this is i'm going to sew on it and the space in between both stitches is um where i'm going to add the elastic to you get so it's where i'm going to add the elastic to so i have to go get my ruler to rule it down yeah so i'm going to run my stitches on this line as well so it's just like the space between both stitches on both sides is half an inch. Meaning on the right side, the space between the two stitches is half an inch. The space between the two stitches on the left side as well is half an inch. I hope you understand. So yeah. So I'm going to do the same on the other side as well. So it's exactly what you do on the right side. That's what you do on the left side. So I'm going to mark that out. So guys, I have 
um, run my stitches on um, the um, line as well on the new line I marked out so I'm going to put my elastic through it so you can use your safety pin to pass your elastic but I could not find my safety pin so I used my um, I used a broom but for these the measurements you need to to cut your elastic the actual measurement that's you know we used 55 you divide it by two so that would be the length of your elastic so you know it was 55 divided by two it's going to give you 27.5 so we just leave it at 28 round figure so the actual length of the elastic will be 28 inches so i'm cutting out 28 inches from the elastic so that's how you cut your elastic yeah so let's see your actual length and your length on the fabric is um 60 you divide it by two which is 30 so you cut out 30 from your elastic so guys at this point it's time to put in your elastic through that space guys this <laughs> this it was at this point the elastic decided to stress me i tried and tried and tried and tried and tried i don't know the elastic just refused to go in i don't even know why i was exhausted at this point as you can see, I was trying, I was trying, I was trying. <laughs> but the elastic was like, no, 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 no. You have to, I have to delay you a little. <laughs> so guys, this is me oh, trying to conquer the elastic. Oh. <laughs> oh my, I was getting pissed at this point because what is this? So at a point, I was able to go in. But then, I don't know, my the broom I was using, the broomstick I was using... It's broken into two pieces. It's into two parts inside the hole. Man, inside the space. <laughs> and you know how 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 that can be. So I have to still bring it out and start all over again. It was it was um any asha. I finally conquered the elastic. As you can see, I've done it on this um on this side of the um skirt so i'm doing it on the other side i'm putting the elastic on the other side so i'm using my broom so i have to still use my broom because i had no other chest i could not find my safety pin so i had to just settle for what i have so as you can see i'm putting it in So I'm putting it in, guys. So the main aim is to bring out the elastic at the other side, on the other side of the space, yeah, of the hole. So this is it, guys. I brought it out. So you can see, I have to stretch it. So I'll be using my office pin to secure both ends so the elastic does not go in again. And so that I don't start from square one of putting the elastic <laughs> into it again. and start fighting fighting with the elastic again so i just have to use my office pin to secure then when i get to the machine i'll run a stitch to you know close it up to close up the space at both hands so that's just it guys so right now i'm using my office pin to secure both hands on both the left side and the right, um, right side of the skirt. So as you can see, you can see the flabbiness. Yeah. So I'm going to run a stitch here, here, and on the down part as well. Then I'll show you guys. So guys, I've run a stitch to it. So the next thing is I'm going to put my the waistband and the zip so in putting out the waistband you know your actual uh, okay your actual waist measurement you had five inches to it or three inches but it's best you go at six so you had five inches so you know the actual length for the the actual waist measurement is um 30 35 so i added five inches making it 40 so the length for this was 40 so I cut out 40 for the waistband. So this is how I'm going to sew it in like so. So I've also ironed the lightest gum stay to the waistband. 
So this is how I'm going to sew it round, then attach the zip as well. So I'm going to sew the waistband like so on the waist and I'm going to attach the zip. So guys, this is it. You can see how beautiful it came out. If you've watched to this extent and you're yet to hit the subscribe button, guy, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. So see you guys on my next video. Mm -hmm. Bye.